Welcome back to The Sitch. This is our 30th episode. So, gold star for those of you that have watched all 30 episodes uh, for today's Sitch in honor of both Thanksgiving and American Indian Heritage Month. We're going to feather apart some of the fascinating differences between turkeys and chickens. So let's start off by talking turkey. Turkeys are famous for their gobbling, which is much different than the cluck of a chicken. If you're a turkey hunter, this is a gross oversimplification. I apologize, but for the purposes of this sitch, uh, we're just going to stick at, with gobbles versus clucks. Now let's go old school. Chickens were domesticated around 3,000 years ago in the Indus Valley, modern day India slash Pakistan, and turkeys were domesticated around 2,000 years ago in uh, modern central Mexico. The Europeans brought back the turkey to Europe, and uh, after contact, after Christopher Columbus came to the Americas, um, chickens were brought to the Americas in, in subsequent voyages. Chickens were originally domesticated for fighting, and turkeys were originally domesticated for their meat and decorative feathers. Uh, maybe this helps explain that turkeys are typically more on the docile side versus chickens, which tend to be a little more flighty. Uh, both chickens and turkeys have pecking orders and are very social and hence need to be around other chickens and turkeys, but don't mix them together. Um, there are diseases such as blackhead, which can cause serious problems in turkeys as opposed to chickens for the most part. Size, turkeys are obviously bigger, um, and so is the fleshy, pendulous structure hanging from the bird's neck called the waddle, one of my favorite words. Uh, waddles are great at helping the bigger turkeys cool off because there's no feathers over them. They get a lot of blood flow, and that's one of the ways these bigger birds can kind of cool off. While chickens are known for their prolific egg production, um, offering a nice steady supply, turkeys on the other hand lay, lay fewer eggs and their egg laying is more seasonal between roughly April and June. This is why we don't go to the store and buy turkey eggs instead of chicken eggs. So there you have it um, in the fine feathers that uh, make turkeys unique from chickens. Hopefully you appreciate some of the differences and at your Thanksgiving or American Indian Heritage Month celebration, you can push back on that person who inevitably says turkeys are just big chickens. So thanks for tuning in. And if you have any specific topics you'd like covered in future episodes of the Sitch, don't hesitate, don't hesitate to reach out to us at drcluck at ucdavis.edu. Uh, until next time, cluck on. <laughs>